Hey everybody, welcome back. In this lab, we are going to create a Azure NAT gateway. That NAT gateway will further be associated with a subnet. Then we log into our virtual machine and do a IP detection test while opening a URL, what is my IP.com from browser. This is going to be our lab topology. In this lab, I will be testing IP detection from this machine 10.10.2.4 and we'll create this NAT gateway and associate this NAT gateway to the public subnet where this machine resides. This I'm is going to be our lab topology portal, and this time we need to utilize In this lab, the NAT gateway services. I will be testing so on NAT gateways IP detection from this machine 10.10.2.4. You can and we'll create this NAT gateway and associate this NAT gateway Use a to the public subnet where this machine resides. The same resource group lab and the name of the gateway. I'm going to put a gateway NAT VNet one. This is going to be part of Central India and the reason behind my VNet one also belongs to Central India. Now it is asking for availability zone. You have option you can go for the no zone or you can choose the appropriate one which works for you since it's a regional service if you go for no zone it is automatically going to decide a zone for you so i will keep it to the default one however you can see it here choose an availability zone for nat gateway if you have other resources that you plan to use with NAT gateway, it's recommended that you match the zone of those resources. No zone is selected by default to have Azure place NAT gateway in an availability zone for you. So if you decide no zone, it is going to choose one of the zone automatically for you. So both those options are available with you. Let's now go for outbound IP address. As I mentioned, you can attach public IP addresses with the NAT gateway or you can attach IP prefix. So let's try to attach a public IP address. If you already have a IP address created, you can attach. But now let's attach a new IP address. And this time you see there is no option for basic. It should be a standard. You can only use the standard IP address. So I'm going to put NAT gateway public IP address hit OK. Next subnet which virtual network you want to attach it to. In this reason I had two so I'm going to attach it to VNet1 and in VNet1 either you can attach this NAT gateway from here and otherwise you have an option you can go back to your subnet and attach it from there so let's try to attach it to the public tag i'm going to leave it at default let's review and create validation passed let's try to create it might take some time hence i'm going to pause this video and come back when my resource is available my gateway resource is available now. Let's go to the resource group. And we can see these many resources are part of the resource group lab what we created. What we need to do, let's verify the health for the gateway first. So this is a gateway what we created. It's a part of resource group lab one and the location is Central India and it's type NAT gateway. Let's click on that. In overview, you can see it is attached to VNet1 and it is also attached to one of the subnet. However, you have option, you can attach it to multiple subnets. Those are part of the same VNet. You can assign up to 16 public IP addresses and IP prefix as well. Now let's take a look. This is the outbound IP address, which ends with 134. And the moment to attach this gateway to the subnet, 
all the resources within the same subnet they are going to use this IP address for outbound traffic since we have already attached let's go and verify on virtual machine what is the IP being detected and before that let's verify the routing on those virtual machines so this is the vnet one go to the networking network interface and effective routes nothing really changes here so let's go back and try to access what is my ip.com now we see the IP which is being detected is the same IP address what we have seen on the portal which is assigned to NAT gateway let's go back to the NAT gateway and we can validate on the IP address outbound IP address 134 and that's exactly the same IP address what we see here before attaching this NAT gateway to the subnet we had no public IP instance hence it was using a IP address which is coming from Microsoft backbone and that IP was 20.198.95.195 thank you for watching and I will see you in the next section